The Random Jottings of Donald J. In Nelson in Bendel Lancashire. Tin in the Ring Game. Introduction Kick the Can is a classic children's game that has been played for decades. It is a simple game that requires no specialized equipment or playing field, making it a perfect game for children in difficult economic times. The game can be played in a variety of settings, and its rules can be modified to suit the player's preferences. In this study, we will explore the game of Kick the Can, including its history, rules, variations, and benefits. History of Kick the Can The origin of Kick the Can is unknown, but it is believed to have been played during the Great Depression in the 1930s. The game was popular among children because it did not require any specialized equipment or playing field. Instead, children used a discarded empty can from the trash, which could be filled with rocks to make noise. During the Depression, many families could not afford to buy toys or sports equipment, so children had to be creative and use whatever they could find to play games. Rules of Kick the Can The rules of Kick the Can are simple. The game requires a minimum of three players, but it can be played with as many players as desired. One player is designated as it, and the other players hide. The can is placed in the center of the playing area, and it closes his eyes and counts to a predetermined number with his back turned to the can. While it is counting, the other players hide. Once it finishes counting, he opens his eyes and tries to find the hidden players. If he sees a player, he calls out the player's name and hiding place, and both the player and it race to the can. The player tries to kick the can before it can kick it. If the player kicks the can first, the game continues, and it must count again while the other players hide. However, if it kicks the can first, the player is placed in jail, which is a designated area for captured players. Variations of Kick the Can There are many variations of Kick the Can that can make the game more challenging and exciting. For example, players can be allowed to move around and change hiding places, or they can be required to stay in one hiding place until they are found. In some variations, players are required to tag it before they can kick the can, or they must touch a designated safe zone before they can be safe from it. Benefits of Kick the Can Kick the Can is a fun and exciting game that provides many benefits for children. It helps to develop their physical coordination and motor skills as they run, hide, and kick the can. The game also promotes social interaction, cooperation, and teamwork as players strategize and work together to rescue jailed players. Kick the Can can also be a great way to get children outside and active promoting healthy habits and a love of physical activity. Conclusion Kick the Can is a classic children's game that has been played for decades. It is a simple game that requires no specialized equipment or playing field and can be played in a variety of settings. The game's rules can be modified to suit the player's preferences, and there are many variations that can make the game more challenging and exciting. Kick the Can provides many benefits for children including physical coordination, social interaction, and a love of physical activity. By Donald J.